morning, it's 6 a.m. and I'm off for a 12 hour day shift. So I thought I would test out a fragrance for you and share my thoughts and feelings on it. And this one is Tom Ford's Metallic. So Tom Ford's Metallic, I have the sample here. I have mentioned this in a video before when I did I discussed a few sort of brand new fragrances that had come out and this was one of them so I did gloss over it a little bit but I wanted to give it a full wearing give it a fair go Whew. Just, <laughs> oh the fumes the alcohol fumes oh wanted to give it a full wearing and uh, see how it develops see how well it lasts and what I think of it and obviously share that with you lot so I'm going to do a bit more And I'll do some on one wrist as well, off camera. And I'll come back to you with some thoughts. So just a quick update. It's been on my skin about five to ten minutes. And here's my thoughts. It's kind of like a non-fragrance. It's the kind of thing that someone might wear if they don't really want to wear a bold fragrance or anything that's too obvious that they're wearing a fragrance. It smells more like you're wearing, or it smells more like you've washed with a really nice old fashioned soap and then you've applied a thick white body lotion that's probably expensive. It's got this musky, soapy feel to it. It reminds me a little bit of the Body Shop's White Musk and it also reminds me of Picavea Dharma from Zerzhov, which is a clean aldehydic soapy type fragrance it's not particularly strong it's definitely not projecting massively although i did only do a few sprays from the little sample it just feels like a fragrance for someone who wants to be very subtle and understated and not really smell like a fragrance at all it's probably a little bit boring for my taste but I can see why some people might want to go for it. I personally think there are other options and you wouldn't have to spend so much money as well. But I'll come back with more in a bit. Hi, yeah, so I'm back and it's 10 a.m. And I've just popped out into a nearby field to give you a quick update. Sun's in my eyes, sorry for squinting. So what I noticed in the car on the way to work, so once it was on my skin for around about half an hour, it got a lot sweeter and I started to notice vanilla coming through. So it's kind of like a musky vanilla. What I'm noticing now, so it's 10 a.m. So it's been on my skin for four hours. I'm not really picking it up much from around here. It is there if I really look for it. If I do that, I can smell it, but it's quite light. Now I did only do a few sprays so perhaps that's not fair and I need to do more sprays. So I think I'm gonna to top up. And I did re-spray some onto my wrist just to get the top notes again. And that's over, let me get this out. And that's over, oh, just managed to get it to leak onto my fingers a little bit. Um, got the dog walk coming over. So what I've done is I've just resprayed some more and I'm basically going to use the last of that up. So let's see. That's it. All gone. Let's see how that goes now. So time checks 10am. Just so we know what the longevity is and the projection. So it's not that it's gone. It's just that it was so quiet that I couldn't really notice it. So hopefully i'll notice it more now so what i've done is earlier i re-sprayed some on this side to get the opening notes again and i did look up the notes so the notes are this weird shadow going on on my face let's move a little bit so the opening notes are aldehydes so that's definitely very very noticeable Aldehydes make it kind of soapy, and that's why it reminds me of Picavea Dharma's, um, Zerzhov's Picavea Dharma, because that's also very soapy and aldehydic. But I'm quite pleased that that soapiness doesn't seem to last too long, 
and the vanilla and the musk come through quite quickly and there's heliotrope in here heliotrope is a note that i really enjoy in particular when it is used with other musks and florals it can be really really nice heliotrope can smell a little bit almond like and a little bit floral and a little bit powdery and i do get that from here the fragrance does have a bit of an almond smell to it which i do definitely enjoy i love 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 almond it seemed quite a simple fragrance to me it doesn't feel very complicated or difficult to understand it's very pretty without being overtly feminine or sort of floral which i quite like at the moment the dry down on my other hand which is over here is musky powdery vanilla with a hint of floral and a tiny hint of almond but it is very light so i'm thinking that the fragrance isn't performing that well of course just one wearing is not a great test but that's my thoughts at the moment so just a quick update the time now is 3 p.m and i haven't reapplied so last applied at 10 a.m so we're talking five hours now there's been a soft sillage around me so it is lasting and projecting much better than i thought so you definitely do need to spray quite a lot but it is giving off enough of a sillage for me to think that the performance is okay the performance is fine it's not exceptional but it's not bad and what i've noticed is that now in the far far dry down i've got on the on my hand which was sprayed a lot longer ago it's starting to get a tiny bit spicy now there is sandalwood in here and i think that perhaps the sandalwood's got a touch of spiciness to it just makes it a little bit more interesting the fragrance is actually changing on my skin as i'm wearing it and i like that i'm getting a bit of a fragrance journey the main part of the first two hours is more about the soapiness than the aldehydes and then the vanilla comes out and the almond sorry i'm checking over there because there's a lot of it's, you probably can't see but there's a cricket match going on yeah you can't really see there's a cricket match going on over there in the in the field um so it's soapy and then after about two hours it's not so soapy and instead you start to get the vanilla it gets musky it gets a little bit powdery it gets a little bit almondy it's really quite nice and then now in the far far dry down i'm just getting just a hint of spiciness but not a lot it's really nice it's also a bit sugary as well once you get past sort of three to four hours it starts to feel a little bit sugary so it is sweet to a degree but not too sweet overall i do really like it i don't know if i'll buy a bottle i'll put the prices up on the screen for you but it's not in the private blend line so it is cheaper than the private blends i think it is value for money because it is a nice fragrance with development it feels well crafted and i the only drawback for me is i'm not a massive fan of the soapiness at the beginning so that might be why i wouldn't necessarily buy a bottle but i do think it's a very nice fragrance i think that's it i'm gonna leave it there thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video